It's very important for us to be absolutely established in this truth that God is a good God. God is good all the time. He is never any other than good. And he is always on my side against the devil. Even when I have failed him, even if I have let him down, disappointed him, he's still on my side against the devil. He's not happy with my sin. He cannot be. Which mother will be happy with sickness in her child? No mother. I mean, if you're not happy with sickness in your child, you're not a good mother. You gotta hate sickness in your child. As much as you love that child, you hate every sickness in it. Even the smallest little cough or cold or fever, you hate it. You want the child to be free from it. And we have to see the reason why the scripture speaks so much about that we should be free from sin is exactly like a mother wants her child to be free from sin. When a day comes in our life, I hope it will come soon, I don't know whether it has come yet for you. When you hate sin, more than you hate sickness in your life. Has it come yet? When you see clearly that the smallest sin is worse than the greatest sickness. That if you got AIDS, which is one of the most terrible, incurable sickness in the world today, that would not be as bad as committing the smallest sin. To have a bitter thought against someone, to have an unforgiving spirit, to be proud, that's a million times worse than getting AIDS. The day you discover that, you'll get victory over sin. It'll come very quickly. But that's what the devil keeps us blinded to. He always fools us. And sin is not so serious. If you speak a few rude words to your husband or wife, it's not so serious. But really? It's like getting AIDS and leprosy and saying it's not serious. The devil's fooled Christians left, right and center. We so glibly say that Jesus died for my sins. But we don't see how serious it was. There's a hymn of a song that I have sung to myself, that's a verse of a hymn rather, that I sing to myself many, many times. It goes like this, Lord, ever when I'm tempted, make me see my God alone, outstretched and bruised, and bleeding on the earth that he made and make me feel it was my sin as though no other sins were there and that was to him who bears the world a load that he could scarcely bear that it was my sin that put him on the cross the little, little things that I take so lightly in my life, the words I speak or the thoughts I think, which I say, oh, the blood of Jesus will cleanse me. We treat the blood of Jesus like some tap water and I can always go and wash my hands clean. I know the days when I took sin like that. I know it had been true. It never came. I would hear other people talk about it, but it never came in my life. I had to see the seriousness of sin which placed my Savior on the cross took my sin and make me see that it was my sin as though no other sins were there that was to him who bears the world a load that he could scarcely bear I want to ask you my brothers and sisters to ask God to show you the Holy Spirit show you how serious sin is. Jesus said, when the Holy Spirit has come, you convict the world of sin. And that's so important. 
That, that's why God's love for us is like that of a mother or a child. It's a sickness of a child. He wants us to be completely free. Every little thing that spoils our relationship with Him. 